Hello, my friends. My name is Irvin, also known as Kobelman. This is an example of a help desk or a call center phone call in which you deal with an angry customer. So this is incredibly important to know because you got to have the skill in order to resolve their issues. Sometimes a customer is so angry that you got to deal with it in a special way. So that way you can resolve this issue without it being escalated to your manager. So this is an incredibly important video, not just technically, and I'll show you what the problem is with the computer, but also in a way to deal with it. So it's a social video in a sense. All right, guys, let's have a look. But before we do that, please take one second to like my video. This really makes a huge difference. And that way I'm not going to play any ads for you. So what's going to happen, I'm going to show you the customer's phone call, an example phone call. And then I'm going to pause the video and show you how do I fix it. And most of all, on how I dealt with this angry customer. Again, thank you so much for your support and let's enjoy. Thank you for calling tech support. My name is Irvin. How can I help you today? Oh my god, look, I need you to fix my computer, all right? Look, everything is broken. I can't open anything. All right, sir, no problem. I'm sure I can help you with this. What seems to be uh, the issue? You know, what are I'm you, trying I... to open up these Word documents, you know, all my Excels, nothing is working. It's just it, the, the icons kind of changed. I, I don't know. When I click on it, nothing happens. It just doesn't want to. Look, I need this fixed right away because I got important things to do, all right? All right, sure, sir. Hey, sir. No problem. I'm sure I can help you. I'm sure we'll fix this for you. Just, uh, uh, just give me a few moments here. Right? I hate to do this to you, but can you please give me the PC name? That way, I can help you as fast as I as fast as possible. All right. That way, I can possibly take over your computer and just do it for you. All right. P PC name. What is this PC name thing? Well, there should, sir. There should be uh, um, an icon. Or on your desktop or something that says PC information or maybe a sticker on the computer that with a PC name. All right, all right. Let me let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Oh, I I, I see it. I see it. I see a sticker here. All right, great, sir. Can you please give me that? That way I can just help you real quick. All right, it's uh three five seven zero C O T A F L. All right, thank you, sir, very much for that. All right. All right. I'm going to make sure that I look at your computer. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to uh, request to take control of your computer. And all you got to do is just click accept if there's a pop-up or anything like that. Just make sure you click accept on that. All right. All right. All right. All right. I see it. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for accepting that. All right. I'm going to have a look now and I'm going to fix it for you. All right. Don't worry. Just, just hang tight, please. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's pause the phone call for just a moment to see what's going on here. And you can see that the customer here is trying to open these documents and it just keeps asking for something to open it with. Uh, these are Excel and Word type of documents. You can see they are uh, extension on them is ODT and ODS. These are basically um, uh, open office type of documents. They can also be opened with regular Microsoft Office. But in this case, we're just going to reinstall open office in this and this is going to resolve the issue. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Of course, in a business type of environment, you would have a different type of tool. But in my case, I'm just going to install the executable that I've downloaded with OpenOffice, and this will fix it. Okay, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for holding. Look, I, I found the problem for you. Uh, I just need a few moments to fix it, but I guarantee you I will fix it for you. The thing is, though, the uh, Microsoft uh, Office or uh, the software basically used to... Uh, open these programs for you uh, is removed for some reason. I'm going to have to reinstall it. Unfortunately, this may need a restart. Oh my God. Sir, I'm really sorry, but I guarantee you this will fix it. Um, it, it may restart, it may not, but if it does, it shouldn't take too long, but I guarantee you will fix it. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reinstall it and then it should work for you. Just give me a moment here. All right, fine. All right, sir, I'm initiating it right now. It's happening. And uh, it, what I'm just kind of waiting for it to install, um, just, you know, just ask you real quick, do you need to save anything just in case the computer decides to reboot on you? Because a lot of times when you install these big programs, it likes to reboot for some reason. I don't want you to lose anything else, you know? All right, let me check. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're fine. You're fine. All right, sir. Thank you very much. And thank you again for being patient with me. I guarantee this will fix it for you. You just need a few moments and possible restart, but it should be good to go. And uh, hopefully this, this computer is fast, so that way we can get back to them real quick. So I'm just going to keep clicking next, 
and so far it's going really quick and again a uh, business you work for may have different type of tool that deploys these type of applications you might want to go in there and do a repair or whatnot if it is Microsoft Office but in this case um, it is open office but either way we're going to resolve the issue all right that was really quick which is good that means we can get back to the customer real quick and you can see now that we can open these uh, just documents these are just fake documents that I created for the sake of video and you can see now that it's working all right let's get back to the customer it looks oh well it looks like it installed and uh, I don't see any reboot uh, requirements so I think you're good to go um, you want to check it out before I let me uh, let me have a look real quick all right all right all right looks good all right good all right thanks thanks man I appreciate that all right no problem sir I you know I I understand the frustration it, it happens but you know you're good to go now is there anything else I can help you with no I'm good thanks all right thank you for calling tech support you have a good day all right you too bye bye bye, bye, -bye. There you go, my friends. That's how you handle an angry customer. I, uh, I made this video as best as I can in order to show you guys how to do it because it is kind of awkward to, uh, uh, I guess, pretend to be the tech support and pretend to be the customer as well in order to create this type of video. So I hope it came out good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. I also like to see when people just say hi. I really like that too. And uh, if you want to check out my channel, I have a bunch of different videos on help desk, desktop support, system administration, network administration, and all kinds of other IT stuff that you can learn from. And I also have, if you're interested in this type of stuff, I also have more videos in this type of format where it shows you how to deal with certain issues and technical issues that you may come across as a help desk technician and again if you're doing just call center type of stuff these videos are also helpful all right thank you so much for watching please share this video if you have a second click the like button i really appreciate that as well thank you again and you have a wonderful day Bye bye